Nerdy Color here, and I am with the legendary Star Lord himself, Chris Pratt. <laughs> and I'm with the legendary Star Lord himself, Mike. <laughs> Looking good, man. Looking good. Thank you very much, sir. I had the dress for the occasion. Yeah, yeah you this, did. This is such an honor. Thank you so much for having us. Um, it's such it's such a wonderful movie. I cried so many times. But I have to ask, uh, at the start of this interview, the stupidest question ever, but something that's been on my mind forever. Okay. 20-minute Battle Royale, Star-Lord, Mario, and FBI agent Burt Macklin, who wins? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Depends. Are there power-ups? <laughs> if there are power-ups, then maybe, uh, maybe Mario would win. But... Uh... Gosh, I think probably guard. I think probably Peter Quill because he, he never fights a fair fight, and you know his friends are going to come help him out. That's a great answer and very true. Um, Pete is in a really bad spot in the beginning of this movie, emotionally speaking. I think yeah. with Gamora uh, having lost her, and then she sort of came back, but not really came back. Um, you know, I, I have to ask as someone who knows this character inside and out. Do you feel like it would have been better if she hadn't come back at all, or is it better that she did come back, but? Kind of a total dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's certain her coming back certainly complicates Quill's ability to move forward. And I think uh, in storytelling, when you have a romantic uh, a character arc and and somebody suffers profound loss of the person that they love, usually that story focuses on what they have to do to overcome that loss and to move forward. And so it's really hard for Quill to move forward when there she is, right in front of him. Um, I think it makes for a more compelling story, certainly. So in that regard, I'm glad she came back. But for the heart of Peter Quill, it probably would be easier for him to move on if she had just not come back. Absolutely. It's stronger for his character, too, I think. In some yeah. Ways. Yeah, and in a way, he's learning, he's learning more about himself because he's always been on a quest to figure out who the heck he is. Absolutely. Uh, and, and is, is he Star-Lord? Is he the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy? Is he the son of Ego, the living planet? Is he the, uh, the, the better half of, uh, you know, Quill and Gamora? He's really none of those things. And, and uh, deep inside, I'm not sure he knows who he is. So th this, is, this story helps him to get closer to finding the answer to that question. Absolutely. Um, this has been a wonderful send-off, honestly, and uh, uh, if quite frankly, um, you know, with this being the last time that, for now anyways, you'll be working with this great cast and James, uh, after all these years, what do you think was the biggest takeaway for you for this journey? Oh, man, the takeaway, I'm not sure that I know the takeaway because I'm still on the journey right now. <laughs> I think I'll have, it's going to take some more reflection for me to understand the, what what the takeaway really will be. I know that I've had some extraordinary moments. I know that I'm really grateful. Uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity to play this character, to touch audiences and to meet people around the world who love these characters. Grateful to have worked with James. I think he's made me a better actor and a better performer. I've been able to hone my skills. I've made profound relationships with people that I love dearly. And, you know, we've all lived a lot of life alongside one another all these years and, and we will continue to be friends so my takeaway I'm not sure Pro I, I expect that this is probably the highlight of my career and um, I'm trying to enjoy it and if I can ask one last question of you what song from this trilogy best encompasses the journey that you've taken for all three movies oh my gosh <laughs> uh um <laughs> God, that's a really good one. Uh, I, I think, uh, God, it's really, uh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, 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 please. Bum, 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 <laughs> bum, come and get Come and get your love, love, man, that's what it is. Come and get your love. It's got to be come and get your love. Yeah. It's got to be come and get your that's love. That's good. Uh, from all of us to you, Chris, thank, thank you. you so much for this amazing journey. <laughs> I appreciate we you. We love man. you, brother. I Thank love you, you too, everything. man. Thank you. You look awesome. Fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock life.